Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here, hello and Merry Christmas and in a few days time, Happy New Year. I will still definitely do my traditional drunk get ready with me for no apparent reason. But this time I'm also going to add a vegan mukbang because I am vegan nowadays and I'm doing but I've got, I've got a virus of all seasons to get stuck with the virus right in through summer. Thank you mum. So was the first one to start off with a cough and a cold and then transferred on to me and I'm pretty sure my dad instantly got over it so I'm still fighting off the last of a cough I'm still blowing my nose I mean the only time I'm not coughing is when I'm asleep Of all the seasons to get stuck with a cold is during the earliest of summer slash uh, Christmas holidays but it's obviously not the end of the world so so Merry Christmas to everyone around the world and I'm more than aware that not everybody gets to celebrate Christmas on a happy note some people are lucky that they get to celebrate Christmas at all I, mean, I know that we've probably gone through a breakup right before the holidays inconvenience but that happened I know that some people probably lost a loved one years ago or as of late and my heart does go out to you of course but that doesn't stop the rest of the world from enjoying the Christmas holidays I mean the most traditional celebratory that we get is for this Christmas we had our grandparents, my dad's parents and his brother come up to our new house and they stayed the night but we also have my brother and his girlfriend come over as well so they hung around for a few hours we just basically you know, had lunch, unwrapped gifts to each other and just sat and chat had a little dip in the pool because we do have a swimming pool so we kept the um, celebrations very very low key just more of like a, any other type of family day hang out with each other, tell stories, catch up etc so we're not like throwing major parties over here in Australia or anything like that so yeah so I am wearing a bathing suit because whilst I was just waiting for my battery to charge I did go for a quick splash in the pool so back on the original note I am far more than aware that not everybody gets to have a very cheerful Christmas and I of course do feel bad for you but I'm sure that you've still managed to find a way to you know, wear a smile even if it's just fake so my heart does go out to those who are not having a cheerful Christmas but you know, the Christmases, they will get better over time. Don't let what is going on in your life dampen the whole that is for you. Because with whatever happened, you should not let that dominate how happy you are throughout a very cheerful season, very cheerful holiday, etc. Christmas is only one day throughout the whole year, but it is for a few days glorified because of all the advertisements and the marketing and everything that, you know, rise up to the climax of Christmas. Plus then there's the New Year's where everybody, especially in Melbourne, Everybody gets drunk, worse than pirates drunk, worse than joining Jetpack Sparrow drunk, and goes to the city. All the women are just about damn near naked, or Kardashian level of uh, styled, styled. As is tradition, I do share with you what I got for Christmas, and just to spring an idea or two of what you would like to buy for yourself next Christmas, or for a birthday or something. It's usually the wholesome point of just sharing with what you got, but by no means am I like, gloating. As I said before in the intro, I know that some people are likely to even score like a Christmas card or something like that. It's just a bunch of clothes, maybe a few even a few um, hygienic accessories. I was also requesting for a frozen yogurt machine so that I wouldn't just have to rely on the Nutribullet that my dad has, which is a smoothie maker. And no matter what, high and low, my sister and my mum were trying to find one and they couldn't have been life for them, so yes. Probably going to be something I have to purchase online. Anyway, so getting on with this right now. I do have two pairs of leggings, and yes, I will put them on. But I'll start off with the underwear and bra first. Set the leggings aside. I will show them up to you in this camera now, and then later on when I um get to it, I will just chuck them all, chuck them all on and show you. So this is the first pair of black underwear. According to a sticker, I just pulled off. High waist bikini. I don't know if it's an actual bikini. It feels like one, but. I say it's also just a pair of underwear as well. It's in a size 16. I don't have the smallest waist ever. So up next is a much more lacy like one. It's not really saying what's on it, it's another size 16. And she got it from a brand called Anko. I don't know where that is. But another pair of underwear. The back of it is definitely very, very transparent. So I'll have to put like a peach emoji over my ass, but I'll show you later. This is what the second pair of underwear looks like. Very, very lacy. I don't mind some lace uh, type clothing, but none, none that are transparent. So another one which is the exact same as the first one. Nothing too exciting. We get into a bit of brighter tones. I'm still from the Enco brand. This is nice lavender pair of undies. <coughs> so therefore I will have to check out a lot of my um, older underwear that's, you know, tearing at the seams. A bit more of a smokier lavender toned one. Looks like this. 
a white lacy one. I've got a bit more of a um, smoky green top one. These are all from the brand Anko. So this is a white transparent one. Only at the back though, so this is butt cheeks you're going to be seeing more of. Well, not you, YouTube you, but not you, or just me in general. A plushy baby pink with brown undertones. Another baby pink one. I think it's just a little bit lighter than the last one. No, it's the same one. And of course, I straight up lavender one. No brown undertones. Well, kind of no ground tones. Now for bras, so I've got two lace-like ones. I actually already bought this one yesterday um, when I got ready because we did the um, opening of the presents um, when we first woke up. Just so listening at the shops on this top, uh, this bra bit. So this is one of the bras that I've got. It's very lacy, especially at the bottom. It's almost like more fishnet material. The actual bra cover itself. So I am a size 16D in the breast. I'm not a very small person. I definitely feel a lot more toned and. So I've lost a lot of weight, but I'm still not a very slimmer person. This is basically what this bra looks like. I will again show you in overlay shots. Sorry if you do get squeamish over, you know, chest being on screen, but so honestly, what is worse? This or this? I mean, I had the confidence to record myself out there and just take a screenshot, edit it, make it look good, and then take took even more balls to post it. A week went by, no complaints until one family friend had either shown her mother or had admired the picture, but then her mother peered over her shoulder, whichever way that one went, then came down to my grandmother, my dad's mum, then came back down onto my mother, then came back down onto me, and then I was told to remove the post, that I don't need to be posting stuff like that, I don't have any self-esteem issues, which, no, I don't have any self-esteem issues, none that are obvious anyway. The one thing that did, did crush my self-esteem was being told that that's inappropriate, I shouldn't be doing stuff like that, and only Americans and people in Hollywood do that because they have low self-esteem issues. It's actually more of whether it's professional photography or it's a selfie in the mirror, it's actually a self-confidence thing. People want to express their bodies a bit more. Yeah, so there's a t two different contexts between this one and this one. You can see the difference, not just with the professional photo shoot, but you can see what is bearing confidence and taking balls to post and what is clearly selling yourself short. So I tried to make that point but it still didn't fly over. So, happy medium, I edited the post so I cropped my chest out completely but then my actual profile picture itself, I looked at the original. I mean currently it is me dressed in like a Santa type outfit with a red dress and a Santa hat but when I go back to the original picture it, it will be what I wanted it to be but as for the post itself, it will be um, it will be just, you know, me with a bit of an open jacket and I was still wearing my rabbit, rabbit shaped nipple covers which I basically decided to put in face. Even if my jacket was spread apart a lot further, you would have been able to see breast covers and I wouldn't have been burying myself in anyway, so. But we both know that the older generation that we have are extremely narrow-minded, especially in my family. Happy medium, cropped the actual post, but had my profile picture exactly the way I wanted it to. Anyway, I do apologise if, you know, seeing somebody in a bra and just showing the bra off in a video is a little bit discerning, but at the same time, we're all adults here. I mean, I can understand if you're a child and watching this and you've seen, you know, the cleavage a little bit, but that's what happens when you wear a bra. You get a bit of cleavage, especially when you grow in the chest a bit more. I mean, some people remain pretty flat even throughout their adulthood, but I'm definitely not shy of having a chest. I do apologise if it's a bit unsettling seeing someone's chest on screen or whatever. At least I'm not taking it as far as Anastasia Steele, aka Dakota. Dakota Johnson. So, another white lacy one, and it's not exactly the same as the black one because there's no fishnet material underneath, and just two black ordinary ones. <coughs> Moving along because I'm always stealing my dad's socks, or whatever socks is available in the sock box, I've um, got me some socks of my own, so thank god for that. I'll still try and go shopping and get those on much bigger, comfier ones that you wear in winter, but for right now, I believe these might be like a size 9 to 11 for women's. Yeah, UK is 7 to 9, Europe is 40 to 42. I'm guessing that's just like size numbers. But this is all my socks that I got. And the grandparents. <coughs> another year, another perfume. I actually already got one up in the perfume collection, but I do believe it's actually my sister's. But it is the Meow by Katy Perry. My brother and his girlfriend. They did get me from a Lush, a bath bomb, and a happy shower gel. Now, did I mention about the frozen yogurt machine or not? In off chance I didn't. I was um, asking for a frozen yogurt machine for a completely obvious reason because 
my mother's older sister. She has one and we were supposed to use it up there last year but we never actively got around to it. But I was requesting one for Christmas like you do. And then my mum and my sister could not find one in stores for the life of them so either 80% of the population of Australia already got their hands on one or it's more an online bought thing so I'm the queen of online spending so my mum keeps calling me and I sort that out later and I had also ordered some elf ear cufflings like elf ear, ear accessories in the same shape as elf ears from an Australian website, Australian company and for the life of it, it has not arrived yet for Australian bought companies between each other um, what you're purchasing from and when it's going to arrive to you because we don't actually have a mailbox we only have a PO box I um, gave her the seller both my address and the PO box's address on the off chance that the um, mail actually arrives on my doorstep that she was using a company called Sendal to send it to me and as much as um, the page and the websites were saying I'm about to receive my parcel it never arrives in mail, it's been well past Christmas by 24 hours, yesterday was Christmas, it's now Thursday by the time I'm, rec <coughs> by the time I'm recording this. Yes, yeah, it's coming from Switzerland, yet yeah, she is in America, I know, she must be where the um, company is. Parcel has not arrived and if it doesn't arrive by Friday, then I'm just going to have to order from somewhere else because I, mean, I know that with American products, it does take 2-3 to three weeks, uh, further along in the world, usually about 4 weeks, that's how long it took from um, my zombie beanie to arrive from Glam and Gore took four weeks. Anyway, so having ordered those ear cufflings, they took forever to arrive. They still haven't arrived. I was gonna have to order from somewhere else and wait until they arrive. And my mum and my dad are gonna start the post office anyway, see if um because we normally do get a message from the um, post office they're telling you that we have a parcel to collect. I thought it's also asleep, that's why I'm just telling you stories waiting for blood flow to circulate back through. Now I'll get on with showing the overlay shots of these bras, but you've already seen them based off of as I was holding up the bras to you and the underwear. Okay, my foot wake up. Just torture. When you move your leg even the slightest amount, the blood flow just it makes you feel like your leg is being zapped. I'll be right back. So as is also tradition, I will be later on in the year, the new year, filming a get ready with me mukbang, a drunken new year's eve get ready with me vegan mukbang because these days minus my cold or oh, reckon times get stuck with one it makes more sense to get stuck with a cold in autumn maybe spring maybe definitely winter but summer so i hope this cold does not last me much longer because it is driving me insane same with the endless amount of blowing my damn nose so as is tradition i will also be filming my new year's eve drunken get ready with me but with a vegan mukbang so this concludes the actual video itself for this logo for Christmas 2019. Thank you all so much for watching and I shall see you all for my future videos. Bye bye!